So the track is all finished as far as the cleats and the studs go. That's looking good. Problem is adding all that steel to it made it rather heavy. So now I have to lace the track back together. And to do that, you use a special kit. Farmers have been using these for years to do combine belts and what not. But this is a baler belt lacing kit. They're not cheap. I think I paid like 30 bucks for this. But you can see it's a series of staples. So what you have to do is you have to put half of the staples on one end of the belt and half of the staples on the other end of the belt. And then both sets of staples mesh together and then you run a metal rod through the middle to connect the two things. And you basically have a hinge that will roll around a pulley. So it's an ingenious system. It just takes a little bit to install it. Um, so what I basically have to do is I have to hang this. That's why you see the crane sitting here. I have to hang the track in the air so that the end of the track comes down into the jaws of my vise. And then I use the vise to squeeze the staples together. And everything's got to line up perfectly and be just right. Otherwise, nothing will mesh and it'll be crooked and it's, it's a bad thing. So this is not going to be fun. Um, this is where you could use help in the shop. But of course, the wife, who's supposed to be a good shop wench, has decided, oh, it's a beautiful day. I think I'll go play bingo with my friend. So I'm probably gonna end up struggling with this myself. So my idea is to take the crane, I'm gonna make a sling, uh, basically a bar. I thought I saw one around here, a um, piece of pipe, and drape the track over that so that it hangs flat and it hangs down vertically as I'm feeding it in and out of the vise, pinching those staples together. So that's what I'm gonna tackle either right now or very shortly. The other thing I have to do is I have to take all the running gear out of the machine right now. Uh, I got the front drive axle in, I got the gearbox in, I got everything in there. I had to do that to measure my clearance from the top of the gear to the drive cog to the bottom of the tunnel so I didn't build my studs too high and they would rip the underside of my tunnel. So all that has to come out because the track has to get installed you put the front drive sprocket in first, which means you have to lift the track up, hold that with one hand while you feed the drive sprocket through the track and then through the openings on the tunnel and get that all buttoned up. And then you pick up the track and hang the back axle. And then you put the middle bogey wheels assemblies in. So yeah, this is not gonna be fun, but it needs to be done because my goal is to have the machine sitting on the track by the end of the day on the floor. So let's get cracking. 